And uh, for the second episode of my... Oh, that's cool. For my current recording session. I don't remember what episode this actually is overall. We actually come into Blonelia properly. Blonelia Town, Blonelia. Charming Town where the people make their homes among the trunks of the towering trees. And this is where the p potential ghost girl said that her um, crush lived, right? So, uh, well, there's like, there's like, um, Chinchows up there. There's all kinds of bioluminescent Pokemon here. That's really cool. I like this place a lot. I really like this town a lot. It's so cool looking. Um, no TMs here, which is unfortunate. Anyway, as I was saying, I'll continue to say it while I struggle to talk to Pokemon Center Lady. Um, I'm pretty sure this is where possible Ghost Girl's crush was. So, um, we, we can find out now, hopefully, whether or not she was a, she was a ghost. Hello. I just wanted to double check and make sure that was the Pokemon I was thinking of. If you get lost in Glenwood Tangle, it's probably the work of a fairy-type Pokemon. Yeah, okay. Don't piss off the fairy, right? Glowing mushrooms, mysterious mushrooms, they're all the pranks of fairy-type Pokemon. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're actually fungus. Alright. Hello. I was lured into town quite unexpectedly. This place is a bit hard to describe. I, I would agree with that. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to upgrade my uh, Pokemart too. Do I have anything to sell you? Yeah, I've got stuff to sell you. I'm gonna sell you stuff. Make some money. Not gonna sell my fossilized bird though. Which I realized I just I just have three fossilized birds because I got fossilized bird from the digging duo too. Which I mean I guess I could sell some of them. I don't I don't really want to though. All right, that's fine. Um, do I need to buy anything? Still can't get ultra balls. Um, still have a bunch of those guys. Have a bunch of that. Um. Restock on super potions, I guess. Just make sure I have plenty. Alright, cool. No, I'm good. I'm good. Let's get out of here. Start exploring the, t the town. He's hot. Holy crap. How cool is this town? Hello, child. Frank? That's my granddad's name. Um, he's probably in that house then. Alright. I, I mean, don't know how he knew who I was looking for. When my character didn't say anything, but whatever. Hello. I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. Uh, listen for a second. Score Bunny and Sizzle Pete are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Score Bunny and I are different species, just like Sizzle Pete and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. You're, st you're still not a Pokemon, though. Um. What? You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. Good. Uh, I wanted to become a Pokemon once. I mean, you could... He can't, though. He could dress up with one, I... Dress up like one, I guess. Good luck with that. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel, too. It's, he's just a furry, isn't he? Um, I don't, I don't actually care, man. Um, no. No, I'm not gonna play dress up for you. I'll look up later and see if he gives me something, and if, it, if he does, I'll play dress up. Um, for him. Hello, creepy twins. Up oh, was been a gym leader for a long, long time. That's, that's scary old lady, right? What do you say, other creepy twin? Opal's gym stadium is also a small theater. Neat. Hello. You're looking for Frank? Uh, that'd be me, yes. What's this? You've got a letter addressed to me? Yeah, she's gonna turn out to be a ghost, isn't she? Now who could be sending me letters? Oh! Why, it says it's from Paula. That does take me back ages. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill. Didn't tell me, though. She kept it a secret just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I moved away not long after that fight. 
I never met her again after the day I left. How was she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula? Uh, <laughs> so she, she clearly died very soon after he left. Uh, I can't lie to him. What? The quiet type, are you? Meowth got your tongue? I reckon I ought to, I ought to give you something for this gift that you brought. Uh, before you've brought me back a piece of my youth. Okay, that's, I mean, that's a good gift. I wish there had been an option to tell this guy the truth, though. Man. I'm, I'm real depressed now. He doesn't even know she died. Jeez. Maybe that's, like, actually Paula's granddaughter who's named for her, and she got told stories about Frank or so something. I don't, I don't freaking, I can't, I can't find a way to justify it. Hello. Oh, look at you. Defeated Stoamside's gym leader, eh? You'd probably know your way around a TM like this one in that case. Hex, that's not awful. But it's not anything I want to use. Ugh. Alright. I don't care. Do you give me anything? Hello. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If a Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. And do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without it evolving? I mean, you could give him the Evie Light, I guess. But yeah, sure, teach me. Oh. It's a battle, so she's probably going to use the Evie Light and then give it to me, right? Kind of like that uh, Focus Sash guy did. Dotler. Oh, this thing's super tanky already. This thing plus an Eviolite would be really annoying. Um, stomp it, please, quickly. I should get Dotler back out, too, and train him up a little bit. Train her up a little bit. Nerd was a girl, right? That's great. Just gonna switch to unkindness and try to drill my way through its defenses. <sighs> Bug Buzz. Good choice. Good. Good. That was a, that was the perfect time to switch. That Bug Buzz did a pretty decent amount of damage to me too. I don't like that. Hit it as hard as you can, buddy. Good. Solid damage. Yep. All right. Ouch. Bug Buzz actually did about as much damage as that, though. So. Dotler's actually a really solid Pokemon, more so than I even realized. Jeez. Thankfully, one more Drill Peck should do it. How annoying. I really hope she gives me the Evie Light, though. It's one of my favorite items. I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solidity. Is that, is that the right word? Is that, is that the word you think it is? I, I don't freaking know. Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? The secret is this Evie Light. And she just gives it to me. That's really gonna weaken your strats, lady. A mysterious evolutionary lump. What a weird way of putting it. Um, yeah, but it, like, raises physical and special defense on the Pokemon it's attached to by 50%, which is very nice. If you let your, if you let a Pokemon that can, that can still evolve hold the Evo, the Evie Light, the Pokemon's defense and special defense will go up. Thank you, my screen just told me that. Alright, there's nothing else to do in here. But that was a very productive... Look at the little girl sitting up there playing with the Pokemon. That's so cute. Um, that was a very, very productive house. What's down here? A uh, TM just sitting here for rest. So we got Snore back in the... Um, back in Glenwood Tangle, and now we've got rest. Which is actually a, a solid combination of moves. Oh, and I can hop back down there. This is, this is a, such a cool... I'm going to heal up, actually, too. Uh, while I'm down here. This is such a cool little town. I like this town a lot. I wish there were more places like it, like this in Pokemon. Should also print a new League card at some point, so I have one where I'm wearing my hat. 
I'm not going to do it now, though, because that sounds boring. Let's just get out of here. What else is there to do in this town? Anything? I know the gym's up that way. But is there anything else up that way? It looks like it's the only way left to go. There's some more houses. And yeah, there's a phantom. Nice. Um, but you can't actually get to the houses. It's just the, it's just the gym. Alright, so I guess we're doing the gym next. Because there's literally nowhere else to go. Let's hope we can get through this gym in 15 minutes. Because that's when this episode ends. 15 to 18 minutes from now. Alright. I do know something about... Oh, it's Marnie! Hi, Marnie. Oh, Challenger Hero. Hmm. You got four gym badges already. I'm going to have to watch out for you, huh? Hurrah! Look, even Morpico is, is wary of you. Wait, Morpico... Don't tell me you actually like Hero. Ugh. We've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to, nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? Okay, sure. Ooh, I like the gym, the gym trainer uniform. At this gym, you can see it in the background there. Sweet, thanks. Uh, what's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? Alright. There aren't too many gym challengers left, you know. So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Yeah. Just, uh... You keep up your end of that bargain. Hey, ball guy. Give me a, give me something. Ugh. Thanks. Now, don't speak to me again ever. Please, go, go away. I don't care. Um, that was fun. That was a fun little encounter. She's a little ahead of us then. That means... Uh, I'm gonna save real fast. Because I don't remember what I did last. Um, mm, this is a fairy-type gym, right? I mean, I'm guessing it is. I'm trying to remember. They, they said Opal was a fairy-type gym, gym leader, right? It looks very fairy-ish. Um, I should be okay. I'll be fine. It's alright. Gym Challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? I mean, it's it's kind of in my title. Then please change into your uniform in the locker room. Now nah, I'm going to do it right here in front of you. This will not be a gym mission so much as a test of your quality. I do know something about this character. That she's trying to find a replacement for her at the gym. So I guess... That's what this means, that they're going to audition me to be gym leader. And I actually have a theory. I have a theory that now that Bede got kicked out of the gym challenge, that he's going to become the replacement gym leader. Because three of his four Pokemon... No, half of his Pokemon... He's got, he's got Gothita, right? So half of his Pokemon, then. The little hat thing... And the Ponyta both become fairy types when they evolve. So if he just if he swapped his guys around a little bit, he'd have a pretty decent fairy team. Yeah, that's right. So I think I think he's gonna end up being the replacement gym leader anyway. The uniform looks good on you, it does not. Now relax, clear your mind, and go break a leg. I'd prefer not to. But I appreciate the sentiment behind you saying that. Not driving right now. I want, like, a repeating version of um, each of those little little transition scenes. Ah! Oh, I just now looked up and saw her. Ah, oh, jeez, she's so scary. Um, I want those as, to be, like, my computer wallpaper or something, you know? Um, ah, there you are, my dear Jim Challenger. Though you are really lacking in the color pink. Yep, I am in this form anyway. My normal outfit has a lot of pink in it. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. Uh, so my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Oh, don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they asked along the way. That sounds fun. It's kind of like a modification on, like, the Blaine thing. Think carefully before answering, though, child. If you get the wrong answer, your stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. That's a little annoying. 
Oh, but if you guess correctly, your Pokémon will get a stat boost. That sounds nice. Just think of it as a little fairy-type Pokémon magic to make things interesting. Now, if I want you to go all out, show me what you could do. Alright, please leave more slowly. You're not going to let me bribe my way past this, are you? <sighs> Fine. It's literally just a stage and she's sitting in the front right there. Okay. Alright, okay. It's time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy-type gym leader. I'm not gonna, anyway. Annette. Okay. You really should have used a Pokemon that's, um... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Useful? It's pretty high level, though. Yeah, tank the hit pretty good, too. Oh, I've got Draining Kiss. That's annoying. Did a solid amount of damage, too, with that critical hit. <sighs> Question. Do you know about Fairy Type's weakness? I mean, both of them were correct answers. Okay, thanks. Will Psybeam do more damage? I don't know which of his thing's defenses are higher, honestly. Oh yeah, Psybeam's definitely the better choice, okay. Oh, that's not fair, stop it. <sighs> Dang it, should've just used Psybeam from the start. I don't know why I assumed it would be more special bulky than physical bulky. Still took it out, though. Alright, what's next? Ponyta's really getting up there in level, too. She's technically my strongest Pokemon in terms of level. Slurpuff. I think I'm okay. I think I can deal with a Slurpuff. Such a weird-looking Pokemon. He's a pretty cute looking Pokemon, but it's weird looking too. Yeah, get it. Nice. Uh, okay. That was a really cool looking energy ball. Holy crap. Snap out of. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah. Ponyta's real strong. Very good job, Ponyta. Still getting tons of experience for being a traded Pokemon. Beat a net, excellent. If you stand your crown with everything you got, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong. That is patently untrue, but all right. The music here is really good. I can't say what Miss Opal will think, but you've at least piqued my interest. I literally don't care. Please leave. Do I get to heal in between battles? Nope. Alright. Sure. I'm the second trainer. Thanks! I don't know how to count to two! Dear God. Teresa. Alright. Swirlix! Just, just coming at me with all the crappy Pokemon today, huh? Alright. Psybeam! Boom. Draining kiss. Fun. How how fun. I'm gonna have to heal up in a minute. She's gonna ask a question now though, isn't she? Question, yes, okay. What was the previous trainer's name? Uh Annette. I guess it's a good thing that I habitually read all the characters' names. I'm gonna heal up. Like I literally just said I was going to do. Boom. It's annoying that I can't heal in between the battles, but that's that's got to be part of the, the challenge, right? Alright. I let it debuff me, which is annoying. But this still shouldn't be that difficult. Alright. That's... Not gonna matter. Literally at all. But alright. 
these Pokemon... Like, it's annoying that I can't heal between battles. But only... It's, it's only just annoying because these Pokemon are, like, really bad. Like, that, that only gave me 600 experience on a traded Pokemon. That's so bad. Uh, Remitis. I... Okay. I don't have high hopes for this gym being at all challenging, though. Aromatis is a little bit better, I guess, than, like, another Spritzy or something. Actually, that did less damage than I expected. And it's got freaking Sweet Kiss. Dang it. Ugh, gross. Stop it. I kind of want to switch. And I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch to... Do I, do I even have anybody? I kind of wish I'd given Lance Steel Wing now. I might do that before I fight the gym leader. Um, let's go to Dixie, just because she's kind of a powerhouse. See if we can do some damage with drum beating. Ooh, it's got Psychic. That's gross. And it lowered my special defense, because of course it did. Um, no, I think I, mean, I might give um, Steel Wing to Lance instead of, like, Peck or something. And then maybe giving Peck back later if I feel like it. That is fantastic damage, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. Um, so I have at least somebody who hits these guys for super effective damage. Um, got a lot of experience from that guy, though. That was very nice. Uh, to be cautious and wary. That's the trick to survival. All these people saying either wildly inaccurate things or just wildly obvious things. Jeez. Give me your money and leave, please. Don't worry about right or wrong. Just keep moving forward. Again, that is bad advice. Yeah, okay. This is probably the last one, because a lot of these challenges have been broken up to threes. I'm next. I think you might have what it takes to become the fairy-type gym leader. I still am not going to take that job, though. I don't even get to change Theodora. Okay. I don't even get to change guys in between fights, either, which is very annoying to me. Um, shoot. Switch into Atticus, maybe. How annoying. Alright. I should recover most of that, right? Yep. Question. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? Um, I did not click that. But okay. Thanks, uh, Nintendo Switch controller. Nuzzle it, I guess? I didn't even see what got decreased. That was annoying, because I would not have said whatever it was that it said there first. I saw the other one, Omelette, like, as the, as the little box was disappearing, and I saw that she said Omelette. Omelette was probably the obvious answer. That kind of annoys me. Alright. Um, let's spark it now that it's paralyzed. Was it still faster than me? That's kind of annoying. It's kind of really annoying. Um, do a dig, I guess. Now, okay, now we're faster. Maybe it was trying to use a priority move. Yep, you're gonna miss me. Sorry. And it's fully paralyzed again. Good. Not that it would have mattered. I like getting hacks, though, even when it doesn't matter. I just noticed that Atticus is wearing little socks. Like little booties. That's cute. Hey, Ponyta leveled up. Ooh, if Ponyta still evolves at the same level, and I don't know why she wouldn't, then I think she evolves right now. Well, after this battle's over. But you, you get my point, right? You have any more Pokemon? Yep, a Gardevoir. That's annoying. 
Um, pretty fragile, though. So maybe Unkindness can do some work against it? I'm a little hesitant about this, because Gardevoir is pretty dangerous. It's a pretty dangerous Pokemon. Uh, let's go, come on. Okay, good. Did a lot of damage. That was a crit, though. Not that it matters. Mystical Fire. Very cool. Um, that would have hurt more if he was already evolved. So I'm kind of glad he's not. Um, just another drill pack. I, I want to make sure I, I hit it. And uh, Fury Attack is too low accuracy. Jeez. Alright. I, I still... I forgot to look and see if she had more Pokemon. That went up to 38. I would really like Unkindness to evolve at some point soon. I play a strong trainer, a method actor, so I became a trainer in real life, too. Alright, just as long as you're not, like, threatening your co-workers and stuff. Ah, yep, I was right. What? Ponyta is evolving. If you guys haven't seen the design of this thing yet, look at that. Look how majestic it is. I love it so much. Such a good-looking Pokemon. Little can stand up to its Psycho Cut. Is that going to be like it's on Evolution move? Unleashed from this Pokemon's horn, the move will punch a hole right through a thick sheet of metal. Neat. Yep. All right. Um, so I'll get rid of... Let's, let's be real. Let's get rid of Heal Pulse. It probably wants me to get rid of Psybeam, but I'm going to get rid of Heal Pulse. Because Heal Pulse is not very useful. Learn Psycho Cat. Beautiful. Right, let's get... Oh, hey! Hey! Speaking of unkindness evolving, I bet I'll be able to learn Steel Wing after this. Yeah, finally! Finally got my Corviknight. Hello, buddy! Yeah. Uh, this Pokemon reigns supreme in the skies of the Galar region. The black luster of its steel body could drive terror into the heart of any foe. Glorious. And he's getting a level up move too. Steel Wing! Alright. Sure. Let's do it instead of Fury Attack. Why the heck not? Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, do we even have anybody? With us, who isn't fully evolved at this point? Um, we should be focusing on the gym challenge, but Miss Opal insisted on making this an audition. Doesn't sound like she's a very good gym leader, maybe that's why she's retiring. Alright, I'm done with that then. Okay. And Opal didn't react at all. Not once. Um, let's heal up a little bit. I actually don't need to heal a ton. But I'm gonna anyway. Um, I kind of want to use Rapidash now, so I think I'm gonna leave her in the front. And I have unkindness. I don't. I don't need to replace Lance's Peck with with uh, Steel Wing now because I have. I have a Steel move. So I'm, I'm, I'll just. I'll just leave things as they are. Um, I kind of want to go through. Let me go through my TMs real quick. See if I have anything interesting that these guys can learn now that everybody can learn that. Um, you Dixie can learn U-Turn. That's interesting. I mean, Unkindness can too, but Dixie can, which is neat. I might actually do that. What all does Dixie have? Um... I mean, double hit does the same damage, technically? I don't know, I might give that to her later. Because, uh, it's the wrong freaking button. Because um, I don't want to get rid of a track yet, and I don't know that I want to get rid of double hit either. Dixie can learn false swipe, that's interesting. Too interesting, Rapidash can learn drill run. I think I'm going to give drill run to Rapidash. Because why not? It seems interesting, right? 
um, instead of agility, I guess? So why not? It seems to be a physical attacker. Let's give it some more cool physical moves. Nice. Um, learn Swift, too, but I don't really care about that. It's really the only interesting thing. But still, that, that was pretty neat. I don't really know what good it's going to do, but I have a second drill run TR, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's get in here. Thanks, I don't... I don't care. I really, I really don't care. Yes, I'd like to immediately challenge the gym leader. Can I go in, please? Um, let's, let's do the gym leader battle and make this a slightly long episode. Run down the corridor like I'm drunk. 